Joanna Duggar shares first kiss at wedding to Austin Forsyth as her brother gets engaged at the reception. Joanna Duggar was shown having her very first kiss as she allowed the reality TV cameras to capture her wedding to Austin Forsyth. A two-hour special of Counting On showed the intimate moments of Joy and Austin's special day in May which ended with Joy's brother Joe getting down on one knee and proposing to Kendra Caldwell at the reception, setting in motion the next Duggar wedding while the current one was still happening. Joy, 19, Austin, 23, had only been officially courting for three months before getting married and because of their family's deeply religious beliefs had been forbidden to even kiss beforehand. Their ceremony, which saw Austin burst into tears as soon as his bride-to-be started walking down the aisle, seemed to clearly lead to the first kiss, with Austin asking Joy in a whisper moments before, Are you ready? For what? Joy playful replied, before whispering back with a smile, Yes. But the pastor leading the ceremony also wanted to have fun and kept them waiting at the moment they expected him to give permission for their kiss. After clearing his voice, with the young couple both doing the same, he asked, Oh, am I missing something? Austin, you know you make us your bride, he finally said with a large smile, with the congregation hooping as Austin tenderly cupped his bride's face and kissed her slowly. Austin and I's first kiss was amazing, recalled Joy, who is already expecting their first child, later. He did a good job he put his hand up to my face just in case he missed and nobody could see. It felt very natural. Throughout our relationship it's been okay, this is the next step, this is what we need to do next, and that was the way it was with our first kiss. It was amazing. Perfect. Austin, meanwhile, said, kissing joy for the first time was amazing it was like sealing the deal. We exchange rings, we share vows, but this was the first thing that her and I had physically done, and the fact that all of our friends and family got to see it. It was pretty cool. They then repeatedly kissed throughout the rest of the night, including after they fed each other wedding cake and also climbing into a balloon-filled car. Austin also teased his new brother-in-law Joe as he hugged Kendra after their engagement, filming them on his phone and leaning in to say, no kissing. The couple decided to have a first look where they saw each other in their wedding attire, before the actual ceremony, with Austin admitting it was because I would have lost it if I saw her walking down the aisle. You are so beautiful the prettiest bride ever, he whispered to Joy, who said later of that moment. Seeing Austin's reaction made it even more special for me. While Joy had remained calm during the wedding day preparations, Austin had grown increasingly nervous, admitting, when I got in my suit it felt like the temperature in the building went up 100 degrees. I was getting more nervous but it was a good nervous. But in the final moments before the ceremony, they switched roles with Austin insisting he felt peace while Joy said. I was breathing hard, trying not to cry. All these emotions going through me, my whole life is changing. Still, Austin told the pastor if I fall, catch me, and Joy told Dad Jim Bob. I hope I don't pass out. Despite their first look, Austin burst into tears as soon as he saw Joy walking down the aisle, recalling later. It was just an overwhelming emotional time but it was the most incredible thing, pretty much ever. Austin's face was just priceless, Joy's sister Jessa Sewald recalled, while Joy said of her new husband's tears. I wasn't surprised that he did, because he's pretty emotional. They read their own vows, and also got the pastor to witness them signing them, with Joy unable to hide her joy at realizing she could sign it as Joy Forsyth. Both sets of parents also joined them to form a circle and say prayers during the ceremony, with Joyce mother Michelle Duggar saying God we thank you for Austin and the man that he is and Jim Bob saying, Father, I pray you'll use Austin and Joy together to win more people for your kingdom's sake than they could apart. After the kiss, they quickly started to rush off before the pastor stopped them to proudly announce, I'm honored to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Austin Martin Forsyth. 
Joy had spent the build-up to the ceremony trying to avoid her father's gaze, saying he always manages to make her cry. This is our fifth child to get married, Jim Bob said later with wife Michelle by his side. I don't think it gets easier, but she's marrying Austin who's just a great guy. He's a hard worker, he'll be a spiritual encourager to her. They're the perfect match and we're so excited of both of them and this is a great celebration. Jessa meanwhile said, seeing Joy in her wedding dress, it's crazy. It makes me wanna smile and be happy, but at the same time makes me wanna cry because my baby sister's all grown up. But it was 10-year-old Jenny Duggar who had the hardest time and had to be comforted though her tears by Joy before the ceremony. I did the same at all my sister's weddings, Joy admitted. Realizing that life is changing and people grow up and get married. It's hard when you're younger. After cutting the cake, Joy pretended to do a traditional bouquet throw to the single women but instead walked her flowers straight to Kendra as Joe appeared on one knee, nervous asking as he held out a ring. Kendra, will you marry me? Joe. I would love to marry you, she told him, admitting later that she did not actually hear his question above the excited reaction from family and friends around them. I didn't hear anything but I assumed of course that because he was on one knee he was asking me to marry him, she said, with Joe also admitting. And I didn't hear her when she said yes. Rather than thinking that this told some of her wedding thunder, Joy insisted of the engagement. I thought it was the greatest idea. I thought it was a great idea, too, Austin agreed. We're all one big happy family. The special ended with a trailer for the next wedding special, showing Joe and Kendra's big day when they finally married in September. It had earlier shown going through their courtship, including the moment Joe asked Kendra's dad, Pastor Paul Caldwell, for his blessings for him to propose. Well, that's a big step, replied after a lengthy pause, before telling him. We've talked for many, many hours and I really feel like the Lord's leading in this direction. But I do want to remind you that you're taking one of my most precious gifts, he said with a smile, before telling him. You have my life and my blessing to go further. We really appreciate your faithfulness and good attitude and just the way you've honored my wife and I choices through this whole process. We look forward to how God is going to do with you, too, he said, leading him in prayer. Joe admitted he had a sigh of relief, admitting. Any time a guy goes to ask the father of the bride he wants to marry if he can marry her, there's always butterflies in the stomach. You may have to pick her up off the floor. He said later, we're very happy for Joe and Kendra and excited. A little bit taken aback that it happened so quick and so early, but we want them to get on with their life and have a happy and blessed life. We're excited about it for them. Earlier, Kendra had admitted, Joe noticed me first and I didn't really notice him for a while, even when I knew he was interested. When we started talking that was when I was first, wow, I really like him. It's incredible thinking there's another Duggar wedding just around the corner. They're coming pretty fast, said his sister Jing Ella said. Every three months. But Jessa stressed. We're really excited having one of the brothers getting engaged. It's been a long, long time. It's been just girls, one right after the other, for so long. Joy and Austin, meanwhile, headed off to Switzerland for their honeymoon and also admitted that once back in the States they would have to spend the first days of married life living in an RV after the house Austin was hoping to slip and have ready for them was at least a month off of completion. I was starting to worry that we wouldn't get everything done in time and where we were going to stay, Austin said. So we went to plan B so the family is going to let us use an RV? That's where we are going to stay until we finish the house. He was shown giving a tour of the small living quarters including the master bedroom in the back, which Joy had already started to decorate and make homely. Looking at the bed, Austin smiled. She get left and I get right, she's always right. Joy, meanwhile, smiled at the prospect of their first home, saying, 
I think two people can make a home anywhere as long as they've got love. Joy had been seen with her family going for her final dress fitting, having admitted that she found picking her dress more overwhelming than I expected it to be because there were so many options and I am so indecisive. I can get nervous if I think about it too much. Seeing her in the finished item, Sister Jessa Sewell gushed. Seeing Joy in her finished dress was absolutely amazing. She's a stunning bride and every single detail was just perfect for her. I'm really excited. I'm really thrilled with how it turned out, Joy said. I hope he thinks I'm pretty when he sees me in my dress. We'll have to wait and see. He might think it's pretty ugly. Not. Austin will probably cry when he sees me. They were also seen on their rehearsal with Joy saying, It's crazy to think that this is my last day as a dugger but I'm really excited to see where the Lord's going to lead me. Joy also talked excitedly with her husband-to-be about how they would get to kiss for the first time with Austin replying, Too bad we have to wait until tomorrow. Bummer, Joy smiled shyly. During the rehearsal dinner, Austin's best man Bobby Ballinger, who has known him since they were both nine, got emotional as he told everyone, I'm going to start crying because I love that knucklehead right there. He's going to be a good man to you, Joy. But he also joked, I think that God does have a plan because my beautiful bride is his sister and Austin think I met you for her. They were gifted something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue with an old camping stove, new hard hats with a and MRS on for construction of their home, a box of borrowed kitchen items, and a box of random blue items. It's always hard when another sister moves out, Jana admitted. It's not the same.